So today we finally get a look at what Intel's upcoming 13th gen Raptor Lake CPUs are gonna look like in laptops this year. And these are the laptop version of the 13th gen desktop processors that were announced late last year. I can't believe I'm already saying last year. But the crazy thing is the HX version of these processors because they're gonna have the same amount of cores as the desktop version. In fact, it's pretty much a desktop processor that's been binned down to support a laptop architecture. These HX processors are very exciting because they're going to be so powerful that the base clock speed is going to be at 55 watts. Now granted, these are going to be in big boys, they're going to be in thick boys. We're talking about laptops that are at least 5.5 pounds and above. So these are things you're not going to be going to school with, but they're more geared towards the enthusiast who's looking for a proper desktop replacement, but really, really wants a laptop. It's going to be expensive, like really expensive, because if you think about it, if you're buying a gaming laptop or a creator laptop with an HX processor, you're probably pairing it with an NVIDIA GPU. And we all know NVIDIA GPUs are not very cheap right now. And it's rumored that NVIDIA is going to be releasing an RTX 4090 in a laptop. Now, obviously it's not gonna be as powerful as a desktop 4090, but still it's gonna be very, very expensive. Now in terms of performance, this is where things get exciting because we're gonna see anywhere from a 10 to 11% boost in single core performance. So very similar to what the desktop version can do, but the big advantage comes down to multi-core speeds. We're going to see anywhere from a 30 to 50% performance jump if it comes down to synthetic benchmarks. Now, synthetic benchmarks obviously don't always translate into real world performance. It just never does, right? And based on my testing with using the desktop version, you can expect anywhere from a 10 to 15% performance jump in video creative applications and about a 10 to 12% performance jump in gaming. So very similar to what you got going from 12th gen desktop processors to 13th gen, you're going to see the same sort of scenario happen in the laptop market. And this is going to trickle down to the H series, to the P series, and obviously to the U series. In fact, the U series will probably get the least amount of performance bump just because it's really hard to push these processors at such a low voltage because they're so hungry for power, right? And, and look, if you buy an HX processor, you're not going to get good battery life. It's going to last like five minutes, but what you will get is a lot of performance. And that's the thing this year, like Intel processors in 2023 are really going to mimic what we got in 2022. Like you're just not going to see better battery life compared to last year, unless the efficiency cores are doing more of the uplifting because there's more of them now at least at least on the HX version, but overall you're going to get very similar battery life. In fact, I think it's going to be an AMD year again for battery overall. Now, if you're considering a laptop with a regular H series processor, it's still going to use the same amount of cores as the 12th gen version. So you're going to have six performance cores and eight efficiency cores, but you're still going to get a very similar uplift in performance. So 10% in single core clock speeds, anywhere from 30 to 50% in synthetic multi-core clock speeds. Obviously it's going to translate a little bit differently when you're using applications, because again, this is a laptop. It can't sustain performance over a long period of time. In fact, a lot of people are saying that the 13950HX that's coming out next year, or this year rather, is going to be as fast as a 13700K. And that may be true, right? Like if you do a quick Cinebench test, it'll match what a 13700K can do, but it's not entirely true because let's be honest here, right? 13700K is in a big box. It has proper cooling. Like that thing is gonna sustain higher peak performance for a longer time than a laptop that has to power throttle after a minute because it's getting too hot. Look, this is gonna be the most powerful laptops you can buy. It's probably gonna be faster than the M2 Max, but it's just not gonna have the efficiency that AMD is gonna be putting out and obviously Apple. Intel is banking on performance right now. That's where they're really excelling, but they're doing it at the expense of heat, efficiency and obviously fan noise. And if you just want like the most powerful laptop possible, then the HX series processors are going to be the processors that do that. Make sure you stay tuned because over the next few days, I have a lot of videos showcasing the new laptops that are coming out in 2023. I'm not attending CES, but I'm still going to cover it. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the like button if you're excited for that. Anyways, that wraps up this video. I hope you guys are doing well. Happy new year, and I'll see you guys in the next video.